Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn how to build a simple to-do application from scratch using Vue.js and Firebase. Here is a demo of the web application. We will first install all the prerequisites. Then we will start creating the Vue.js project. We will see how to set up Firebase project. Finally, we will check how to integrate Firebase with the Vue.js project. Let's install Visual Studio Code. I have a Windows 64-bit system. So we'll download accordingly. Let's install it. Visual Studio Code is now installed successfully. Let us now create the Firebase project and a database. Click on Go to Console. Let's create a project. Give it a name. Project is now created. Let us now create a database for our app to store the notes list. Start in test mode. Let's give the collection name as Notes. Let's also add some notes. We can use auto-generated ID for each notes. Let's add our first note. Let's also add another notes. The Firebase database is now ready to be used in our Angular project. Let us create the Vue.js project. Let's create a folder for our app. Open up Visual Studio Code Editor. Let's create an HTML file. Let's give it the name index.html. Now let's add JavaScript reference of Vue.js.
Let's just change the variable name and display it in the header tag. Let's also change the variable value. Our Vue.js project is now ready. Now let's add the Firebase configuration to our Vue.js project. Create a new JavaScript file Firebase config. Let's first get the Firebase credentials. Click on Web. Let's give a name to our app. And copy the Firebase configuration from here. Now let's add the reference of Firebase modules. Let's initialize our Firebase app. And also the Firestore DB. Firebase is now ready to be used with our Vue.js project. Now let us complete adding the HTML and methods for our app. Let's create an array variable to store the notes collection data. Now let's write the method to refresh the notes array. We need to create the collection reference using getDocs method. Next, let us loop through the result and push the description and ID of each notes in the notes array. We need to execute the refresh method in page load, so we can add it in mounted function. Now let's add the HTML to display the notes data. Let's check if this works. We see the data is being displayed correctly. Now let us add the methods to add and delete notes. First let's add a text box to get the new notes value. Next, let's add a button to add this value to our Firebase collection. Let us also add a function to delete a document. We need to pass the ID of the document to be deleted. Now let's add the method to add the new notes to Firebase collection.
We can make use of the add doc method and pass the collection reference and the new notes in the JSON format. Once added, we need to refresh the notes array to display latest data. Now let's add the delete doc method to delete the given document based on the ID. Now let's test this. Let's add a new note. It worked. Let's delete it. We see the add and delete works as expected. 